my name is Sarah. Today, we're going to be talking about how to achieve happy, naturally curly hair. So basically, I just wanna walk you through my washing and styling routine. And I wash my hair one to two times a week. Today was one of those days, if you can't tell. Got the clips in, my hair's still a little wet. So whether you are a fellow curly girl yourself or you're just interested in my hair routine, I hope you enjoy this video. The first thing I do is I turn on the cold water. If you wash your hair in cold water, it helps cut down frizz. And I basically go in with this awesome shampoo and it smells awesome, you guys. And it's, it's a clear formula. Um, you can't really see it in there, but um, this has lasted me about five months and y'all, it's worth every penny. Vegan, sulfate-free, paraben-free, and cruelty-free. I love this. So the second thing I wanted to show you guys was this quenching coconut curls conditioner. And I really wanted to try it. So I bought it a couple days ago and so far my hair has like, I'm not having any itching, I'm not having any irritation. My hair is really soft. And it reminds me of what my hair feels like after I do my hair mask, which I will show you guys in a minute. But it's awesome. I, I love this stuff. And oh my gosh, again, it just, it smells, it smells like heaven. Something I also want to show you guys was this hydrating mask. I do this once a month or once every two weeks or so and I will do shampoo in my hair. Then after I do that, I, and I just do a little bit, but you put it into clean hair and you let it sit for about five or 10 minutes. And I love using this stuff. It's been a game changer for me. And after I am using gels in my hair for a couple of weeks, it really does help to clean stuff out. So, and it leaves your scalp feeling gorgeous. The next thing that I do after I have done my shampoo and conditioner or my shampoo and my mask is I put gels in my hair and I do about a quarter size of each of these. I mix them together and um, my hair is sopping wet. Again, my hair, I wash it with cold water. Some people that might sound awful, but it, it really does help cut down on frizz and you get used to it after a while. The Light Defining Gel from Diva Curl and I also use the Believe In Miracle Curl um, Plumper. So I use both of these. One of them is for texture and volume and the other one is just defining control and it helps control frizz and stuff. Um, helps really hold your curls. So yeah, I use those. I usually dry my hair with an old t-shirt. You can use like a comfort color t-shirt um, or you can also use a microfiber towel, which is what I recommend. Um, also sleeping on a silk pillowcase or having this kind of towel if you wash your hair at night on your pillowcase when you sleep will really help cut down on frizz and your hair will be silky soft in the morning, it's awesome. But I usually wash my hair in the middle of the day or in the morning, so um, yeah. But get a microfiber cloth, it helps a lot. <laughs> but while you're letting your hair air dry, the next step, this is crucial you guys, if you wanna create volume, you have to put clips in your hair. So I use these, and um, they're, they're really simple. I got them from I think CVS or like HEB, somewhere cheap, but basically they're just these little alligator clips. And you bunch your hair up a little bit um, and you just take it and you go like this. And it might look a little funny. Sometimes I've gone out in public and my hair has been just in clips. So for this next step, if you are in a hurry and you wanna blow dry your hair, which I don't recommend blow drying your hair just with the straight blow dryer, um, unless you're using medium heat or the cool down setting, but um, it will add so much frizz to your hair and I only suggest using this when you're in a hurry, but let me show you what I use. I use a diffuser and this is the diva fuser this is the one that i got years ago from my aunt for christmas shout out to aunt eileen i love you i got this beautiful okay it looks weird it looks creepy but i love it it basically creates air tunnels that go into your hair and i usually use the cool setting um when i'm when i'm using this and i use the lower heat setting but uh when you're using it you just go like this in your hair and you go up um, or you can also go up like this. It has been a game changer for me. 
when I'm in a hurry, like when I'm going to church. It's great, get a diffuser. So this is what my hair looks like when it's dry completely. It's really not that much of a difference. Um, I think there may be a couple spots that are still a tiny bit wet and it's a little bit frizzy. So I'm gonna show you guys what happens after that, after my hair is either completely dry, air dried, or I use my diffuser. So the next step is to take your clips out and this can be kind of difficult if you wedge them in there because sometimes they get hair stuck on them. But if you hold right here and you pull it out, usually not many hairs follow and it helps to hold that shape that you created. So I'm actually gonna keep this one in for now since my hair is a little bit longer. And then usually after this, I go and take a look in the mirror to see how it looks. Well, as you can see, it's a tiny bit frizzy. But the way that we fix that is, again, Diva Curl. And I use the Diva Curl Beautiful Mess Curl Styling Pomade. Use this. And then I also use the Diva Curl Set It Free Moisture Lock Finishing Spray Shine and Finish. And I've, I've been using these for quite a few months and they've lasted me for a long time. So that's pretty great. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use these. And we're going to start with this one. So with this pomade, you only have to get, it's it's kind of sticky, but it, trust me, it works. So you just take about this much, put it between your fingers, and then you just start fluffing. You can go under, and then I usually take it and I twist it a bit, make sure I get it all around my hair. And then afterwards, I use the spray. Take this, and I spray it into my hand, um, just just a few sprays. Personally, I'd um, rather spray it in my hand and go like this than spray it in my hair because I don't want to put too much in. Sometimes I don't even do the pomade, sometimes I just do the spray, or I don't even do any spray because my hair looks fine the way it is. So, just depends on the day, just depends on the hair day. And I usually find when my hair is a little bit shorter, it's a little bit easier to manage. So the last thing I'm gonna do here is I am gonna put pin my hair up at the front so that I can set it for the next few days. And yeah, so I'm gonna go do that real fast in the mirror. So here's the finished product. And this is my everyday hair look when I don't do any updos or anything like that. So I hope this was a helpful tutorial and you are able to use some of these tips and tricks. If you're wondering where I got things or what brands that I bought, I will be linking everything below. I hope you all have a blessed day and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Why?